I'm Terrence Blevins, and I am currently retired, uh, but I do uh, hold the title of Fellow of the Open Group, of which I am very, very happy about. About 18 years, I started with the Open Group uh, about 1996. Um, so it's been about 18 wonderful years. Oh boy, chosen, the chosen profession is very difficult. It's been, uh, it's been a journey. I started out in software development, uh, went into management of uh, software development projects, went into to architecture, and then uh, various uh, managerial uh, roles. But at the root of everything, of all of the things that I did throughout my career, I would say uh, I did them in an architecturally sound fashion. Well, uh, initially uh, the involvement with the Open Group came when I was uh, with the NCR Corporation. And we, we were doing architecture, um, but I wanted to see the architecture uh, evolve into a real uh, discipline and profession. So we started to engage with the open group to learn about what others were doing uh, with architecture and to provide um, uh, the practical architecting uh, experiences that we had to evolve uh, the TOGAF standard. So uh, it's been very, very satisfying uh, uh, for me from a value perspective. I think the Open Group has done a great deal in the industry to protect the integrity of things like the Unix uh, products out there. I, I believe that um, uh, what it has done with the architecture uh, has uh, help the discipline and the profession of uh, architecture evolve. I mean, there's thousands and thousands of architects out there now uh, that can speak the same language, uh, understand the same uh, uh, development method, and have good conversations about sharing experiences. With, without the standard, without the open group, they'd just be silos of architects. Um, boundaryless information flow uh, is really about being able to exploit new data and get new data where it has to be to be of use for some um, uh, challenge, problem, uh, some opportunity. So boundaryless information flow, uh, it, it it's really about taking away the restrictions that are out there, many of which are, 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 are completely political, uh, but taking away the restrictions out there uh, and allowing the information to, to get where it needs to be, to be of, of value beyond the organization, but value to the, to the enterprise. Well, um, I believe that there are uh, benefits from a, a customer uh, side as well as a, a provider side. Um, from, from a provider side, if you participate and you uh, help the evolution of a standard uh, move forward, it helps you with um, mergers and acquisitions, it helps you with partnerships, it helps you actually sell to customers. Um, when I was in the provider uh, uh, part of the, the value chain, um, it, it took extra resources to actually sell something that was proprietary. Right? You have to explain why it's proprietary. Um, when you're supporting open standards, you don't have to do that. Um, when, when, oh, and you, that, that partnership chain 
today is very, very important. You know, 20 years ago, it was, it was important, but less important. But today, it's even more important. So uh, the provider of value chain um, really is, is enabled by uh, open standards. Uh, from a, a customer perspective, it, we just cannot uh, allow our information to be held, held hostage by uh, proprietary standards, whether they're interchange standards or storage standards or whatever. We, we have to have that information uh, flow so we, we, we can take advantage of it. And um, making sure that we can go to a forum and have the candid discussions with the uh, supplier community about our requirements for that um, uh, affords us that opportunity to tell uh, the vendor community how important it is uh, to implement those, those standards, which of course makes it easier for uh, the s supplier community to say, well, okay, I, there's a reason out there in the, in the customer side to do so. Well, uh, uh, I sort of play golf, uh, and um, I play the ukulele. I sort of play the ukulele, um, and uh, I enjoy uh, traveling and cruising with my wife, uh, especially in Star Trek events. Uh, well, I, I have a lot of books open. And I don't even remember their titles, but uh, uh, some of the books that uh, I have open at this point in time are uh, books about uh, effective and efficient CTOs. Um, I think that, that, that that's a critical area of interest to me because uh, uh, enterprise architectures uh, and enterprise architects need to be engaging with uh, the C-level and a natural place uh, is with the CTO to begin the conversation and then uh, go through that to uh, other parts of the, uh, the seed level, the financial and the human resources, etc. cetera. Um, so I, I have a number of those open and I have a lot of books on uh, how to play the ukulele open uh, and uh, a, a few science fiction books open as well. Well, I really have a passion. As uh, uh, some know, I have retired um, from my uh, most recent uh, employer. And I have a great passion right now to um, help become part of the solution in, in the healthcare uh, um, area. And so I, I'd love to do something with uh, boundaryless healthcare information flow. Well, um, uh, being pleasantly surprised with uh, uh, being named a fellow of the Open Group uh, mean, means almost everything to me. Um, of course, it's underneath that, uh, that whole marriage thing, but um, it, it certainly um, makes me feel that uh, everything in the last 18 years um, has been uh, productive for the community uh, and and appreciated. Um, so it 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 means an awful lot. And I, as I mentioned, uh, I have aspired uh, to be a fellow somewhere, uh, and there's no better place to uh, be a fellow of than an organization such as the Open Group that. Uh, strives to have real worldwide impact. Thank you to the Open Group. Thank, thank you to all of the people with the Open Group, which is that combination of Open Group staff, um, Open Group partners, and all of the Open Group members. Um, everything that has, has been done and accomplished has been done because these, these three communities are working working together and I'm uh, very happy to have been a part of that for 18 years. I love the O.